Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters, and he who has no money, come, buy, and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread, and your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen diligently to me, and eat what is good, and delight yourselves in rich food. Isaiah 55, 1-2 Jesus miraculously fed a crowd of 5,000 men, not including women and children. This happened just before the Bread of Life discourse. He had provided an abundant banquet for those who had spent the day listening to his teachings. They came hungering for something to fill the longing in their hearts and the emptiness in their lives. Jesus could not send them away without satisfying their needs. His actions prefigured the sacrifice of the Mass. He gathered the people, called them to a time of worship, preached the word, proclaimed the good news, and shared a sacred, miraculous meal before sending the people forth in love. What an abundant gift! The glory of the Eucharist is that it is far more than we could ever have hoped for or imagined. It is the most abundant blessing from God, the sign of Jesus' sacrifice on Calvary, the Supper of the Lamb, who gave his life for the world. It nourishes our weary souls and fills us to overflowing so that we can spill over with love for the world that Christ is calling home to himself. The people come to Jesus seeking perishable food. Jesus offers them abundant, eternal life. We are called to the fullness of Eucharistic life in all our actions. As we participate in the Eucharist, we are strengthened to offer the same abundant blessing we have received from Christ to all those who are looking for what will satisfy their souls. Do you recognize the Eucharist as a gift that flows from God's abundance? If not, what keeps you from seeing it that way? What are some other abundant blessings God has given to you? Who in your life needs the life-giving power of the Eucharist? How can you help bring them to it? And God is able to provide you with every blessing in abundance, so that you may always have enough of everything and may provide in abundance for every good work. As it is written, He scatters abroad, He gives to the poor, his righteousness endures forever. 2 Corinthians 9, 8-9